A London high school has sent a notice to parents regarding students sharing AI-generated images. As Merrick Sutherland reports, those images include likenesses of their classmates appearing nude. Students and parents at St. Thomas Aquinas were just learning of an incident that happened at the school recently through a letter sent by school administrators. In the letter, the school details what is described as a disturbing situation. Some students' pictures had been copied from their social media sites. The photos were then altered using AI to appear to be nude. Those photos have been distributed through group chats. Which is very messed up in my opinion. And uh, I've, heard, I've heard a lot of talk about it recently and with parents, counselors, which yeah, it's a big problem. The letter sent home to parents also indicated the London police were at the school Tuesday investigating the situation. London police could not provide comment on the letter or the situation. However, the London District Catholic School Board spoke about the efforts that are made to teach the ethical use of technology. When we talk about AI uh, um, through that lens, we talk about how um, it's very, very powerful uh, and it can be really, really useful, but it also uh, has some tremendous downsides that we need to be wary of. Caitlin Mendez is an associate professor of sociology at Western University. She says this trend is something that has become pervasive in the last three to six months, including a similar incident in Manitoba last month. It is really worrying about how people's privacy is being invaded, their bodily autonomy, autonomy is being invaded. And I think it's something that as a society, we really need to kind of get grips on and start having more discussions about. It's part of our culture and society now, and we have to have a, um, we have to explicitly teach students how to, to use those tools appropriately. The school said in its letter, the creation and distribution of this material could result in disciplinary measures, but did not go into detail to what extent. Merrick Sutherland, CTV News.